Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Worm's Tooth, which is an extensive mod created for Skyrim, and it's very much like a DLC. In the last episode, we found our way to Worm's Tooth, and we learned that our objective is to take down a dragon that's been attacking trading caravans and trading routes um, that belong to the East Empire Trading Company. Let's go ahead and take a look at our current objective here. We've arrived at Worm's Tooth. I should follow Lurius to the Imperial Mining Settlement. And, of course, we need to follow Lurius. And we also have a band of adventurers. We have an orc, berserker. We have a bosmer. Oh, that's right. We have a wood elf archer. We have, I think, a high elf mage. Um, and I know I'm forgetting somebody. Oh, a, um, a red guard warrior, I'm guessing. Yeah, there's no... What else are you going to play as a red guard? A mage? Come on now. All right, so it looks like we're approaching a settlement here. That looks pretty nice. Yeah, look at it. It's pretty extensive. It's also got some of the mushrooms, a la uh, Morrowind and Solstein. Let's go ahead and catch up to Lurius. Imperial Mining Settlement Discovered. Gods, what a disaster. They never stood a chance. I can't even begin to imagine how the mining settlement's going to recover from this. Elmira and Theoden will stay behind and tend to the wounded. There's likely more people trapped under all this rubble. The rest of us are heading to the barrow on the other side of the island. I suggest you follow along with us, but if you want to scout around first, we'll be waiting for you at the barrow, so don't take too long. Okay. Um, hey, uh, Elmera, I think this is kind of a lost cause. Oh, this guy's still alive. What do you beggars do with all that gold we give you? That was rude. Um, yeah, I don't know if this guy's supposed to be alive or... No, I guess he is. I thought they were just trying to make him look like he was dead and haunched over, but I guess not. But this person is a random red guard. We'll take her gold, though. And, uh... A welcome to you, fellow traveler. Okay. Yeah, so I don't think your healing's doing anything is what I was trying to get at. Okay. Barrow of the Worm. The settlement of Worm's Tooth appears to have been destroyed by the dragon. I should meet Lurius and the mercenaries at the barrow on the far end of the island. Enter Worm's Tooth Barrow. Now, at this point, I'm assuming you can explore Worm's Tooth, find yourself some side quests, weapons, things of that nature. But uh, I think we'll complete the main story in a linear path. And if I want to, or if you guys want to see me do it, I will explore afterwards. Let's see where this island is located, or where there's there blah, 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 where this barrow entrance is located. Okay, so there it is, and where are we in relation to that? Quite far away. You know what? This is a lot like Falskar, where things are separated by mountain ranges. Um, hmm. Looks like it's going to force me to go in through here, I would assume. Frostvein Mine, right? I mean, there's no other way around it. Yeah, why don't we go ahead and do that? So, into Frostvein Mine we go. Okay, now, for those of you that do not realize this, I'm doing this completely 100% blind. Um, I have not played anything other than the first, like, five minutes where you talk to that courier just to make sure the mod was working. So I don't really know what to expect after this, so I'm going to keep an open eye, try to see everything, try to take in everything, and trying not to miss anything. We have a bunch of... Orcalcum? Or Calcum, that's how I'm going to pronounce that. Or there. We have some Iceholm Icor, which we'll take. And Nord Mead, and a Woodcutter's Axe, and a Pickaxe, which I already have one. It's always good to stay prepared. So far, no sign of enemies. We have some skulls, or some skeletons of mammoths, I guess. Moving forward. It's always odd to me that mammoths exist in the Skyrim or the Elder Scrolls universe when they also did in our universe. Um, let's see, we have a down section, and we have a straightforward section. Let's go down a little bit and see what's down here. Wow, that is a big drop. Right, so this is just a mining facility. Um, let's see, where's it trying to tell me to go? Looks like, oh, we also have quite a big upwards area as well. Let's go this way. We're going to, uh, pass all of the stuff below for now, because something tells me that's not where we want to go. Unless this leads to a dead end and I was wrong. Yeah, looks like I was wrong. Alright, so let's start heading down, I guess. That's where I'm going to assume it wants us to go. There's a lot of orichalcum ore, and I, I, I never really got too much into mining in the vanilla game, so I don't know if that was present in the vanilla game, or if they created this specifically for this mod. I'm assuming the former, and uh, it was part of the vanilla game. But uh, yeah, I never really got involved with mining, didn't really care too much for it. 
Figured my coin would suffice and I wouldn't have to make anything really. Okay. So, so far, so good. I mean, nothing really of interest yet. But I don't want to miss anything like this Spell Tome Cure Poison and a Miner's Journal. Let's see how long this one is. Not that long. A few weeks ago, we broke into an underground chamber. Old dwarven ruins by the looks of it. Pause to tell me... Paused to tell me the stories about how the dwarves one day suddenly vanished for reasons that to this day remain unknown. Certainly there weren't any left behind from what I could see from what I could see when I went poking around down there. But Luria says to stay away from the place as any traps down there could still be working. The place gives me the shivers and not just because it's God's forsakenly cold. One of our boys, Gunder, mentioned that his the, uh, mentioned that the ruins lead even further down into a vast underground chasm his ancestors used to call Dimfrost. Says says he also saw movement down there like people scurrying about but couldn't make any specific details falmer perhaps i plan on taking a look tomorrow if i can get away from prying eyes that is expansion of the mine has halted for now while lurius decides whether we should seal away the ruins well what's left of it that is i swear half the miners have made more money plundering the ruins in the past few days than they have mining corundum for the past year i for one prefer earning my coin the honest way well for now at least okay we'll take that we will also go into our books and read that Cure Poison Spell Tomb, which I'm not really sure if that's unique to this mod or not. Regardless, we have learned Cure Poison, and that's pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and continue forward. Okay, let's see. Nothing on this table, actually. Lurius's journal. Let's see how long this one is. Uh, it's a little longer, but I'll read it. How many times do I need to make myself clear? Do not, under any circumstance, enter the ruins without my express permission. I reminded the miners many times already, anyone caught smuggling dwarven artifacts out of the recently uncovered Dwemer ruins will have their wages docked an arbitrary amount to my discretion. Honestly, I don't think I'm getting through to anyone. The trouble started a few weeks ago when I heard word that the miners had broken through to some underground ruins. Some old underground ruins. I wasn't terribly surprised given, what no given what's known about the island, but one of the miners mentioned something about an enormous subterranean cavity deep below that his ancestors referred to as dim frost what was the miner's name gunther or was it gunder i'm terrible with these with those guttural nordic names hey find that offensive i'd gather the guards and investigate the situation myself if i wasn't so busy dealing thieves and smugglers inside the mines i think there was supposed to be a width there Bandits outside, not to mention frost trolls and giants. And if that wasn't enough trouble, now the East Empire Company is sending me on a mission to the mainland to negotiate cooperation between the Jarls about some sort of urgent issue. What kind of issue would require this level of negotiation is beyond me, but they'll fill me in on the details once I arrive at Solitude. As for the paperwork, I suppose Thelma will have to cover for me, either that or the dog, but I don't think the dog can hold a quill. What? Oh, <laughs> He's talking about an actual dog. At this rate, the settlement will be in flames by the time I get back. Okay, so trouble in paradise. We also have some grief here. A lot of weird names for a lot of weird beverages. Uh, let's go ahead and see what they do. Curious. Ingredients? No, it's probably potion, right? Or no, it's food. Uh, grief. Restore 30 stamina. Stamina regenerates 30% slower for 60 seconds. Uh, restore 15 stamina. Blah, blah, blah. Soul. Okay, so they all restore stamina, which, in my opinion, is the most useless skill. Obviously, it's not useless, but it's the least priority, I think. Okay, is this a uh, dead end here? Looks like a dead end, but I don't think it would be. Okay, so we came in from there. The book was there. Okay, so we need to continue this way. Got scared for a moment there. All right. So there's the Dwemer ruins everybody was talking about. We have the familiar cogs, the familiar machinery. Looks like it wants us to head downwards. How many times are people going to go on an excavation and accidentally uncover Dwemer ruins? Seems like that happens a lot in Skyrim. Okay, we have a big golden Dwemer door here. Which does not lead to another section. But this one does. Dim Frost. Okay, one of the unfortunate side effects of playing this on the PC is that the loading screens are so fast you can't really appreciate all the custom loading screens they put into the game, which is kind of uh, funny. Okay, moving forward. Hey, a Crimson Nernroot. Crimson Nernroot, wait. Collect Crimson Nernroot in Blackreach. I was going to say, Crimson Nernroot only grows in Blackreach, which, so far, this place is looking a lot like... Um, Let's see, is this another faux dead end? Because I'm not seeing a way past it. I'm seeing an urn on the ground, a uh, thing of fire, I don't know what you would really call that. 
Did I miss a section somewhere? I'm not seeing anything. That leads back, and it's telling me to go back that way. Okay, this is very, very odd. Um, let's just do a double check really quickly. Sit stone bench. No, I don't really want to do that. The music has changed, by the way, which I don't know if you guys realized. Um, okay, what is... What in, the world, what in the world am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? I don't really know. I guess I'll have to figure it out. Right, so I backtracked all the way out of that cave. I guess that's a side quest location or something, because it looks like you can circumvent that location and, uh, hello Fox, and continue on all the way to the other side of the island. So I'll go ahead and make my way over there, and then we'll continue. Okay, so I was wondering what happened to those uh, various Khajiit and that trading room. Looks like we have a dragon here that climbed out of that swamp pit, and I heard about this too. Is he just going to fly away, or is he going to fight me? Looks like he's going to fight me. Fight me. Fight me. Alright, we'll take him out. Yeah, so I was reading about this mod, and it said that there were swamp pit dragons, and I was like, oh, that sounds interesting. It looks like we found our first one. This dragon bane bow, or dragon bone, um... War Axe does quite a bit. I think we are going to raise the difficulty because this is probably going to be way too easy. So let's go to difficulty and put it on Adept. Yeah. This does too much damage. We'll search this guy and we'll take his bone and his gold, but not his scales. And then we'll sit around here while we uh, use our Dragonborn powers to absorb his soul. Oh, give it to me. Yes. I love it. Thank you. Okay, Dragon Soul Absorbed. I'll go ahead and continue. Oh, looks like we have another Swamp Pit Dragon. Okay, never mind. They're all uniquely named, which is nice. So I wonder... Yeah, now it does considerably less damage. Okay. Unfortunately, I do not have... Oh, what's this? What's the shout that makes them land? I forget the, the name of it, but I don't have that now, so we're just going to have to wait for them to land. He's not really doing too much damage to me. It looks like he's not really using a lot of attacks. We'll just keep hitting him with power attacks, which is kind of making him flinch here. Are you just going to take it? You're just not even going to attack me at all? I know you tried to bite me there, but it didn't really work. Death animation time. Bye-bye. That was pretty easy. Okay. Loot you two. Take your bones. Uh, take your gold. And not the flawless... Amethyst because it's below 500 and I don't want to deal with that sort of stuff um, Let's see. Yeah, we have quite a bit of locations around us. I activated one back there I think it makes you do that just so you have some place to travel to Continuing on so we're nearing the worm's tooth barrow and I think from a game design standpoint The reason it makes you walk across the entire island is to sort of give you a feel for the island um you know, we saw the mine, we saw a giant, well, I don't think you guys saw it, but he was back there. And we saw those swamp dragons, which is, of course, something unique to this mod. So, this is a pretty, oh wow, this, yeah, this is a pretty damn big burrow. Um, see if there are going to be any dragons like there is for the first one that I always forget the name of. White Ridge? Is it white? No, it's not White Ridge, is it? Okay, looks like we have a bunch of bandit marauders here. Go ahead and take them out. All right, I'm not really sure where the entrance to this thing is. It says, like, it's right in front of me. Oh, I guess it is. Okay, I thought we were going to have to go downstairs for a second and find, like, a, an underground entrance. But no, looks like these are the main doors to Worm's Tooth Temple, not Barrow. Let's head inside. All righty. What have we got ourselves into now? I guess we'll see. I think I see Lurius. That's your name, right? Glorious Lior, yeah, and what are you doing hiding like a little girl? Come on now. Okay, how's it going, gentlemen and women? Activate weapon Damn slot. It. Looks like the gate is shut. Something used to slot into that pedestal over there. My guess is that's what controls the gate. Whatever it was, it looks like it was only recently removed. Probably bandits trying to make some quick coin by looting the dungeon. Look around for any clues. Maybe we can find out what happened here. Okay, I smell a puzzle. Search the barrow entrance for a clue. Probably a weapon. Let's search this marauder. What do you have? Nothing of interest. What is this thing? Daedric arrow. I will take that. Um, let's see. I'll take that Daedric arrow as well. We have another marauder here. Gold lockpick. Nordic... Nordic bow? Did that exist in vanilla Skyrim? I don't really know. 
take that. I thought that was a gun at first. You see how that looks like the barrel? I was like, oh my god, are there guns in this game? But no. Oh wow, it points you right to it. Oh, come on now, don't do that. Make us find it. Okay, retrieve, gore duster, and enter the barrel. That's a cool weapon name, though. Makes up for it a little bit. Let's see how long this is. I don't know how you guys feel about me reading through, you know, semi-long stuff, but I'll go ahead and do it anyways. Don't know how long that old fart has been down here. He certainly looks like an odd fellow, but I'm not one to hold it against him. Said he'd been studying... Said he's been studying the Draugr, using them to develop some fancy spell that allows him to control their movements. Sounds like a power that could come in handy in our next raid, but what really got my attention was when he said he might be able to modify the spell to control anything. Not just the dust walkers, but living people, too. A power like that. I can't even begin to fathom, fathom what we could accomplish. Sounds a lot like mind control from the Dragonborn DLC. What I could accomplish. If what he says is true, then I can't let him have, let him leave until I get my hands on that spell. So we struck a deal. We don't send in more of our buddies to harass him, and in return he transcribes that spell for us when he's done. I've taken that old Nordic sword we found deeper down. It seems to open and close the gate at the front entrance, so I need to make sure I don't mix it up with the others. While the sword itself seems fearsome enough with its ability to resurrect anything it cuts, cool, it pales in comparison to the spell the wizard is working on. I just hope he finishes before I end up looking like he does. We're gathering the loot at the old shipwreck along the coast near the mining settlement. Once we clear the place out, we'll meet at the docks and have it transported? Yes. I thought there was a typo there, but no. To Skyrim, hopefully this contraband is still worth something if we can't find what the boss is looking for. One thing I do want to say about this mod so far is that the journals and stuff like that are really well written. It seems like it's exactly out of Skyrim, so hats off. Um, okay, so let's see. The sword should be here somewhere. History of Worm's Tooth. Started someone with backbone. Looks like we started a side quest. I'm going to scroll through these pages. You guys can pause if you are interested in the lore, but I will not be reading it. Just as a courtesy to you guys, because <laughs> if uh, I read this whole book, I think we'd be here for the rest of the episode, pretty much. So there you go. If you guys want to read that, you can. I don't think we started a side quest, actually. I think that's just continuing the quest that we're currently on. Okay, let's see here. No, it's not. Okay. Yes, that did start a side quest. Cool. Barrow of the Worm. I've read a bandit's journal. That a sword named Gore Duster is used to open and close the entrance to the barrow. I need to retrieve the sword and slot it into the pedestal to open the gate. Retrieve Gore Duster and enter the barrow. And I will attempt to do just that. Looks like it's pointing me outside. I guess maybe one of those marauders that we killed has it. Okay, yes. Thankfully, we have a big white quest objective there. What am I doing hitting you? You know what treatment you're going to get? Let me just... Oh, no. Okay, well, you guys can take care of him. I was going to fuss roda him off a ledge, but oh well. Oh no, I did actually fuss roda someone off a ledge. Oh no, it looks like that person had it, and we're going to have to go... Uh, okay, looks like we're going to go have to find their dead body, unless... Where is this pointing me to? All the way over here, retrieve Cordester and enter the barrow? Okay. Oh, I guess. All right, well, looks like we'll head to the Imperial Mining Settlement and then round that little mountain path thing. Okay, it looks like that shipwreck ahead of us is housing... Who is this guy? Shargam and... Oh, okay, so that's cool. Oh, I like this a lot. So our adventuring party, like, travels around us... Travels around with us wherever we go, even Lurius. But it looks like he cowers at the sight of a fight. Um, yeah, it looks like Gorduster is being housed by this shipwreck, is what I was trying to say. Wreck of the Salty Knave. Okay, and where is Gorduster? I'll let them take care of everybody. Looks like it's upstairs. I'll let uh, the party take care of everybody out there. Take Gore Duster, and it looks like it's an ancient Nordic greatsword. Playable loot, we already have one. Let's go ahead and see what this baby does. Weapons. And Gore Duster. Reanimate a dead body to fight for you for 60 seconds. That's right, that's what it said. So I guess if we kill somebody, it's kind of like Soul Trap, but instead of us trapping their soul, it reanimates them. That's pretty cool. Um, great idea. We're gonna end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. I'm really excited for this one, genuinely. Um, yeah, I, re I really am. Can't wait to uh, continue this. I hope you guys can't wait either, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.